<laughs> welcome back, welcome back, man. Hey. Ignite Ass Sports, episode 33. Brought to you by the... Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this was all unplanned, but I, I thought of it on the fly as I was just like, uh, I'm going to represent this person. Oh, wait, dang. Wait. Yeah, you, oh, there you go. <laughs> wait, there you go. Wait, wait. There. I was going to nope. say, bro, you've yep. been disappearing this whole time we were talking before the recording. Anyway, Skyhook is was what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Looks like something. Hopefully, y'all get a laugh out of that. <laughs> right? I'm leaving that whole thing in. None of that gets oh, I know I will. That was Kareem 33? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, 33. Okay. Oh, you know what's funny about this? So as I, you know, as the page loads up, it's 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 pretty a long page because uh, it gives like a, if I mention on on camera, um, it gives like basically honorable mentions and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and challenges as they say. So their picture they chose somehow I saw Larry Bird first, even though Kareem's right next to him and he's first. And um, I was like, oh, okay, Larry. I was like, I guess I'll, you know. And it, as I was, I was like, like scrolling red to see the rest, I was like, that's when I like, I, cause I see a sky hook for me, but I was just like, I wasn't thinking. Like I said, I just seen more of Larry's face. And then I was like, wait, mm-hmm. Kareem. And I was mm-hmm. like, we're not gonna mention no Boston Celtics here. And I was like, if I had to, I was like, I put, I'll put Pippen over. And I was like, well, nah. You, you, got, you got at least mention one champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was like, no. I was like, if I had to. Uh, city. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I had no problems though, because Larry, Larry's great. Uh, Larry's I, I pretty sweet. Same... Uh, he's one of those people that I look forward to going back and watching like some of their old footage. Just kind of how you're saying, like you're doing your deep dive. Like when I do my deep dive eventually, I'm gonna look yeah. forward to those games. Yeah, yeah. Like, like all this mention of Mikhail, like I just want to go back and just see him do post moves. <laughs> just be like, yeah. oh, this is... I love it. I love it. Bring me back. More post, more, more uh, big men play like him, please. Um, yep. yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I will. I will see that when I see that as well, because like I said, those are all before my time. Right. Yeah, I, I got one lucky because uh, just I, I really want to just say because of magic, <laughs> like just dive into hell. But like the fact that magic is like, as we mentioned before on cam- on, on camera, that uh, they attach to the hip, you know, <laughs> they right, came at right, the same right. time different mothers but yeah still <laughs> brothers <laughs> you know i don't know you brothers. can't even tell man they're spitting images man it's crazy um all right man so let's uh let's begrudgingly get th- get down to it get down to the nitty-gritty of these uh last yep. two games of the year i was really expecting slash hoping that we'd have a game seven to look forward to yeah. but let's uh let's check out how this game five so what was this game five this was after a um this was after a Warriors win in game four. So this was like that back to the wall moment. Like, oh, well, not really back to the wall, but pseudo and like, you know, Boston haven't lost two consecutive games. Haven't done this or that. Well, they lost two consecutive games. And yes. uh, it was off of, I mean, my Mr. Consistent didn't really come through fully. Jalen Brown, Tatum did. Yeah, the, the, I, the, the one time. So, so, right. um... Um, as one many time. would say, um, and if you wanted to, because I was thinking, I was like, maybe you can include this. Um, but I, I love the part of the RCD video where he, um, <laughs> where they, talk, they, they, they gave up on Jason and he was just like, I already had one bad game, and they were like, <laughs> one bad game, I know, right? One bad game, and I was like, that part was so because I was like, I know, I was like, I when I was waiting for it, I was like, they have to mention this because I was like, I, I, I wish he would fix his lips to say that. I was just like, I've been trying to did vouch he, for you. What, did he say that? IRL, no, 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 okay, but no, okay, no, but, but, no, but, but people think saying, he's like, thinking like, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, 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 I like, 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 this is just the you know, the hype, like, 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 you know, those situations where it's like, don't, don't let me catch you saying this, right, like, don't, right, don't right. have any, an article, verbal, anything, video format, like, don't, right. no, because I would still give our like, overall like MVP to Jalen Brown, and if not Jalen Brown, then Robert Williams, yes, I, I, I definitely agree. You, Al Hofer, you could also throw in there because as they they gave credit to Al Hofer in that skit too, because he he was doing his best. Uh, yeah, but that's my like, he was team. doing his best. That's a, and that's you're right. No one else did their best. He did his best, um, but he's not bringing that. You know, his best yes. is a great support. I'm yes. still surprised that Horford is 
Not surprised that he's a starter, but like, damn, we have to really rely on Horford to be a starter. We can't go with like Grant Williams or someone else to give us a little bit of offense, a little more consistently. I mean, you already have Robert Williams. Like, I was surprised that they don't sub out. It's kind of like what I'm getting at. Like, our two big men are on the floor at the same time, so now we're relying on three people for offense and really Marcus Smart isn't the scorer so we're really relying on two people for offense and one of them is usually cold as in like they're not usually both on at the same night so really relying on one person for offense <laughs> and then if that one person gets shut down we lose three games in a row yeah um I think it's just a sense of just everybody's still trying to go with the traditional like you got your, your Tatum should be the small and then Al Horford is the, the power forward and usually with your power forwards you kind of got some size to you so um basically like like I said a two old traditional so two traditional big men actually who actually like big in size I mean Tatum is um, 6'10 he can be the power forward Derek White could be the uh small or start Pritchard I don't care do something different man yeah. Um, and and then and then so with me mentioning that when I look back on to the Golden State side, um, you you definitely wouldn't need him to start because Otto Porter is is like a yeah a size of a Jason. So and Dray so Draymond's really the only big one until Kevin Kevin um, Looney is out there, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like yeah, like you don't need to start him, but hey, like you know he he started him because you know veteran experience, you know. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Try to try to try to be that glue, you know, to keep everybody together, you know. And, and I just want stats on stats on stats. Like, I want a more advanced version of this site. Basically, like, I need to start looking because what I want is to see right now all of their ages right next to their positions. Because I want to see like exactly how much age do they have on uh, Boston. Because I want to. That was the one thing I'm like walking my dog. I'm like, we're just not. We're just so young, uh, minus Horford, and I know we've talked about it on here before, but we're just so young, mm -hmm. yep. so not inexperienced, but compared to them inexperienced. Yes. So, like, that's just how it, that's, you know what it really felt like, now that I think about it? Very, very reminiscent of the Super Bowl that just passed. You got the young buck, Joe Burrow, coming up, mm -hmm. versus the tried and true, been there before, recently lost yep. but were there before recently they had the experience they had like gone through their changes they had done their stuff they'd made their big moves you know same colors <laughs> same exact colors so it seems mm -hmm. very uh same state same colors it's all all there and um yeah just felt like the young bucks coming up and kind of getting slapped down by the veterans at this point it's so weird to think of golden state as the veterans but at this point eight years four championships they have to be the vets yeah definitely um and yeah and it's just yeah just unfortunate like like usually when you when you think of young teams you can look one of the cows you can look towards is is like the turnovers and like the finish mm -hmm. game, oh like, man yeah, like, like it just made the games eight. unwatchable it made the games oh, yeah. legit like oh yeah like like, like ugh. Yeah. Yeah. So not even because y'all, but yeah, it's just like like even though you know I want to support Boston and nothing like like I still want to see a clean game. And when I act every turn of I see it, I'm just like, oh my gosh! Like I I joke around like the rest of the world, but it's like we just you guys you just you just proving us right. Like, well, you know the funny part is too is like you don't get you get like four or five of them in a row, so they'll go like seven mm -hmm. minutes just turning the ball over, mm -hmm. and it's like then and they will finally make like four or five shots and it's, it's not enough to catch up yeah um and that's the next game but yeah like like they they go and say we have plenty of good runs you know scoring runs where it's just like you know like 15 to 3 or you know this is like because you just turned them all over five times in a row they hit like three you know we say four threes and then like an and one you know and it's just like and like i would say and this is kind of goes into turnovers i don't think it it doesn't count as a turnover, but it damn well should. Every missed layup that we had, you got to count as a turnover. Because, like, if you miss the ball from the rim, when, like, the when by the time you let go of the ball, the ball was touching the rim, like, that's got to be a turnover. Like, every time. Like, that can't count as a shot. Like, you, actually, you know what? You can count as both. Count it as a turnover and a missed right. shot. Because right. here's the thing, too. Like, every time Tatum would drive down full head of steam just throw the ball up attempt to get a foul smart was guilty of it too 
Yep. They would like throw their momentum out of bounds, and then they kind of hit the backboard, the rim, whatever, like holds it up, you know, that stand thing. And then you got a five on four. You know, it's basically a power play going down the other end. And yeah. you're setting your team up for, you're using all that energy. We've talked about this five times already. You know, if you shoot the ball from here, and you just have to run back to here. It's much better than shooting it all the way over here. You got to run all the way back. It's like yeah. expending all this energy. I mean, I know that we have kind of talked about it before in NFL and offense, you know, running out of steam versus defense running out of yeah. steam. But in yeah. basketball, it's the same player. So I know he's running out of steam. Like, it's exactly. guaranteed. <laughs> so, like, think of a different strategy and or stop missing. So the play actually stops and they have to reset. Because if they just make yeah. the shot, then it's not a turnover. If they make the shot, it doesn't turn into a fast break. If they make the shot, it's not an in-transition play, which we couldn't stop them in. Exactly. Um, it sucks that uh, this was the game, too, where it was just like, surely, like, if Steph doesn't have a good game. And, I know, right? Yeah. And then Clay comes um, up. Clay, yeah, like, like, has a, like a 20 point game. But then their MVP, like, man, Wiggins, like, we were talking off camera. Like, like, I thought Wiggins was the MVP. Like, he was just so clutch, game in, game out, too consistent. I mean, like we also said, Curry hit some crazy, crazy shots, but this guy shutting down Tatum and putting up the boards that he exactly. did and putting up the points that he did yeah yeah and that's what i was gonna get at it's just like so yeah it's like surely like let's shut down steph and like hopefully he has a bad game and then yeah clay's gonna probably come up and get 20 is like but that's it right like wiggins is surely gonna like go in the corner you know and be like fine we can't find this man you know he's in the cave you could it's gonna be non-existent you know and it's like nah he's like i'm here and I'm, then you I'm got Jordan Poole who's hitting these like r- between like Ray Allen and Steph Curry shots like just mm-hmm. randomly you know like he would have like you know not like the biggest nights but when he came through with his shots they were that caliber exactly um, and then of course it's just an even nicer touch that you know you got a, a G League player Gary Payton <laughs> he has a little storyline like it was a lot of storylines in this guy Dave Fido's head and just right. somebody who's just like like you love to see these players who are just like especially when it's like my dad was great but I didn't get to have the same same fate mm-hmm. and but yet I will not let that hold me down and I am a role player and I'm gonna try to do my best off this bench as a role player and ice 15 does not hurt <laughs> right like imagine so, if like Bronny doesn't come through to be like uh the greatest player of his of his era he's gonna always be like you know spoken oh he wasn't as good it's like oh my god can you imagine like Jordan kid hey. playing or that, that's that. what I always thought of because I, I, I when I thought the minute I thought of it I was like where like did any of his kids try to play basketball because I was just like I know I wouldn't I would just try to drive off that sneaker money bro <laughs> try to get I into the like, company man do some other kind of work like, if if it wasn't looking like um the, the hot stuff in 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 high school then uh, I'm cool like I'll go to college right. but and just be like yeah I I, I majored in uh accounting or something you know <laughs> like, mm-hmm. just be nothing nothing near near basketball so but yeah that was right. that, that case um for but those yeah kids. so like once you kind of get to that too i mean their team is just playing uh well and they're deep and they're healthy and i'm not saying that like we're injured i mean everyone's injured at the end of the year slash tired so it's none of that but um yeah they were just one of those a lot of deep teams right now in the NBA. I mean, a lot of injured teams, you know, like between like Milwaukee, Miami, Phoenix, uh, a lot of rosters that can actually run pretty far down there. Yeah. I, I mean, that. I, I'm still shocked that Brooklyn like got punked by us the way that they did. Like, because they, right. I, I still thought that like if we lost to them, like I still wouldn't have been surprised. Even what's the, even the Sixers were looking pretty decent for like a minute there. So who knows if they get you know, click in next year. Exactly. So, uh, but yeah, so like yeah, it was, uh, they got it, man. You know, hats off on because uh, yep, like yep. once they got to this game, it was like, oh my god, man, they got to win two straight against Golden State. Like that just yes, sir. felt yes, bad. That, but I still thought that uh, if you want to move on to it, I still thought that they were gonna um, at least force a game seven. Yeah, I was like, like when I like, so we we could talk about it like just off the top of my head. I was like, it was two to like twelve, fourteen possibly. It was, and it was like, like it was, was, was. Hold on, let me check right now. Let me check right now. The peak of it. It, it was like it was pretty bad. It was like fourteen to. Okay, yeah, I guess two to twelve is the is the peak. No, fourteen to two. 14 and 2. Yeah, right. I think, yeah, 14, right? Um, and I was just like, yo, my, these words need to get together. I was like, I know you're going to, but... And 
that was one of those i mean i i definitely thought game over at that point because it was just one of those situations where very rarely like this was pretty much one of the first and only times i remember seeing it like this at least in a celtics mm -hmm. game where the yeah. team that got the first push didn't like they had always like you know let the other team close the gap give up the lead maybe by a little bit but they would always make an even bigger push again later because they kind of had that first advantage and it's almost like you kind of regain your, you know, maybe you let off a little bit or you just have to regain your steam. And then by the time you do that, the end of the fourth quarter comes by or the whole fourth quarter, you can just push, push, push and play really well. And they just got rolled at that point. Yeah. And it just just scrolling up to the, the boss score just to see, like, that's crazy. Like you, you did 14 and you ended the quarter with 22. So that means you only scored eight, eight more points. While Meanwhile, Golden State, they were like, we went from two to 27. Like, I think we must have ended that first quarter with like five turnovers. I mean, I can't tell you because this box won't let me tell you, but uh, our total for the game was 22. <laughs> yeah, I knew I knew it was high. I, was, so, I, I didn't uh, know that high of the double digits, but I knew it was double digits. Motherfucking two. We had more turnovers than Jason Tatum had points at 13, which is like, it, it's... It's dishonorable, okay? Oh, yeah. I have no other way to word it. Oh, yeah. Like, that is such a... Whatever. <laughs> the kid's young. Yeah, I think He's got to he... learn. What is it? Second quarter. Yeah. Two buckets. Wait, yeah. how, how are you breaking this down by quarter? So, you remember the... So, go to the shot chart, and yep. then... And then... The oh, right all side. players. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I like so it. So yeah, I, like I, I want to hit yeah, him. I and like then, it. And then... I like it. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. All right, as, as as empty as it was, I was looking like, bro, like, am I tripping? But I was like, no, this is right. Like, because I turned the shot to miss off, so to make life easy, and it's just like, because we're trying to look at what he made. <laughs> it's just like, because he clearly missed. Well, I mean, let's see. I think he clearly missed a lot. Oh, well, he missed three in the first, two in the second. It, uh, yeah. Um, but simultaneously, I want to say I think this makes up for Mr. Brown disappearing game five. Like, 34 points? Who is the real superstar of the Boston Celtics? Yeah, and this was in, in as, as I just mentioned earlier, like how I was like, I'm trying to plead my case for, for Tatum, and you're like, you're not making it any better against my boy, so... <laughs> I, I mean, just like, I, and I and I've already conceded, like, or I was like, I have no problem giving it to Jalen Brown, right. but it was just like the world is just keeps putting J T and Taylor. That Taylor, is the Taylor. one thing that I guess I feel halfway decent about is that's the only consistent thing that I kind of said would potentially happen this series, and it kind of did, even though he wasn't great. He was just better than Tatum, like, and that's like a fact, and that's awful. <laughs> That's just like exactly. he can't be better. Like he can be comparable. Like he can be like Russ to KD, but he can't be KD. If he's KD, then we can't win. <laughs> right. Or we need to like really like revamp the whole offense with a Jalen Brown uh, as the number one scoring option, and that might even. I mean. Jalen just seems so much more composed in every regard. Like his handles are better. Some usually, usually. I know sometimes he, he was, was, okay, but okay. Because like, when he's on, when he's when he's on, he's on. Everyone been yeah. turning the ball over via passes, this or that. But when he takes that shot, now I guess yeah, like, Tatum. Like, I'll, I'll give you this. Okay, I think that um, Jalen has like better ball handling and passing potential, and I think. Uh, Tatum has better shot potential, but overall, I think Jalen just has the composure. Yeah, that's what it was looking like. Like, like, like Jalen, Jalen, like, dang, what was the saying? Somebody basically was just like, I seen earlier today where it was just like, Jason didn't look like he was born with that killer mentality. You know, he wasn't born with the black Mamba, the Michael Jordan, like, like you got to want it, baby. Like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like now or never. Like I don't care how many shots you miss. Like at least you tried to take them, you know, right, and you, right, right. you tried to lead your team to victory. You know, it's like like die like that, <laughs> yep. like roll over like that. And it was just like nah, like I'm gonna just be non-existent and hope my boy Jalen, the number two, just you know, 
pulls a Steph Curry knee, which he did. And, and I heard <laughs> that uh, Mr. Horford uh, came through pretty good. It's actually funny I say I heard because, like uh, I did the whole season, I watched every minute of basketball where two teams could win the game. I stopped watching this game about three minutes into the second quarter. I was like, I can't. I just can't. I know where this right. is going. And right. I will not. So I'm saying I heard that Horford had a good game. I'm seeing now 19 points, which more yep. than yeah, more than uh, Smart and Williams nine and ten. Awesome. Derek Wright, White, and Grant Williams. Like aside from game one, like they kind of all disappeared. Yeah, yeah, and that's just the like Grant. I kind of was like, I'm just, I'm feeling like he's definitely not gonna just play a role anymore. Um, uh, because it's just based on see like one out of two. Even though he played, let's see, how was it game five? Because I was like, I feel like he just wasn't playing big minutes like last time. Why is it not? There we go. So 16 minutes, yeah. So it seemed like he kept like cutting back kind of on his time or like keeping it right there. So I was like, yeah, like we mentioned, like Derek White would be the one because eventually Marcus Smart has to get some time to rest. You know, like this is your defensive player of the year who's trying to lock down Steph or Clay. You know, um, and and it's just like, yeah, like let's, let's see it, Derek, and it's just like, nah, one for six. You know. I mean, and Williams it. has had like good games though, so I don't know. I was just expecting yeah, yeah, no, him to get more chances. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. I, I I expected that from from the beginning, but then once it, I start to see like it wasn't happening. Like where he was like, dang, like you can't even just let him be in the corner and just try to have them like Jalen and Jason just drive in and then just pass to him like that. And, like he gets shot attempts like that. Like I I, like, I feel like they basically were doing, but. He just was like, nah, I'm just going to go with my five starters and I basically have no bench <laughs> to rely on. And um, yeah, like Jason playing 40 minutes, Al basically 40 minutes, like, you know, almost playing the whole game. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, if you're doing that, like, then you need the starters to do more. And which is like the only starter that we need to do more was jason <laughs> it's like you're you're missing a good nice 14 15 points there buddy like and and, and yeah there you go 14 15 with it with the guy the job done win by one two like so it's, it's truly unfortunate to see that uh jason just went ghost um and uh you just can't say it had one bad game <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this yeah. is like 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 I, I think i definitely mentioned this part where um also an audio scheme skit the the man was like um he what's his boy mark was playing as Jalen, i believe and he said this is when we needed you to show up like <laughs> like at mm-hmm. all games like when it's game when it's crunch time your life on the line, go win or go home. Like you got to show up like Jalen did and, and and you just see all the 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 memes, the <laughs> the, the texting to Kobe, this to that. I was just like I just I feel sorry for the man. Like you like don't like 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 yeah, people are just like don't even mention, you know, you and Kobe. Like <laughs> Like how can he even enjoy slash look at even own that little larry bird trophy eastern conference final type you know remember that little award they gave Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's like this first annual i'm so glad i got it's like who cares cares? yeah because because is we you're trying to be the other side of the sea you know (laughs) on the other side of this continent you know Mm -hmm. side nation like not like it's great you you're great in your conference but what about outside your conference like, and even then it was still a very ugly win you know against miami like it was so bad and then down three to two against the bucks as well so yeah i don't know yeah. who if anyone could have come out of the east and beat golden state Except, like, the, um, the only other, like, I, I don't know why I keep thinking this, but, like, if they somehow made it, like, Brooklyn could have been an awesome, like, Brooklyn Golden State would have been so cool. Right, right. <laughs> KD yeah. and it's Kyrie. Like Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn, 
Miami maybe. Bucks but Miami maybe. was too injured at that point, though. So, like, it, I feel like at that exact point in the season, whoever got through it was going to be like, I thought Boston had a better chance for sure because Miami was just, like, still hanging on every last, you know, jewel of energy that Jimmy Butler could possibly produce. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. Um, the Bucks yeah, were too reliant on one player. The Bucks were, like, a better version of, um, what you call it? better version of the Mavericks I mean a little bit deeper but yeah you know yeah. with them being yep. like a little injured as well it's just it's tough so yeah yeah I think that's it because yeah I couldn't see Philly Toronto we just needed to like play better <laughs> we could have yeah, we could have yeah. we could have won we could have definitely won. definitely it is just it's just you know <laughs> that's really good because you know? so, we we mentioned it like a while back like this team had every piece they needed to get the job done. Um, it's just <laughs> gotta then get the job done. You can't just have yep. the pieces. Yep. You gotta get it done. Like, um, <laughs> like I, like I realized one day when I was like, "Dang, it sucks to, for these commentators." How like you got all this knowledge, but you just can't get the job done. You can't execute. I was like, that's that's half the part. Like, you got the knowledge, now execute it. Yep. <laughs> Bring it. You know, show forth. You know, it's just like, I feel you guys. It's like, but I'm glad I don't got all the knowledge because I would hate myself. Like, gosh, Lee, like, I'd rather have the execution, not all the knowledge. Like, <laughs> you know, but, so it's just like, yeah, yeah with, anything, with anything that comes, like, when, especially when it comes to competition, like, you got to be able to execute. And if you can't execute, and however that, is whatever you're trying to you know do then expect to uh to not get the best results <laughs> yeah best it's, um i don't know if the moment was too big for them i don't know if i mean they just got put up against a team that i don't think anyone expected to play as good defense against them that they uh, were up against yeah i think that and just and just yeah you can say like the moment like they they at times with the like with the turn was just tried a little too hard on night then then think about the move they are gonna go on for and this is like 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 times when I see people like spin into a double and this is like yeah. now you just spin into a double and you're trying to like throw it over them or like find somebody and this is like yeah. Maybe so, the or, game one that win get a little bit too ahead of them. Oh yeah. Cause like game yeah. one the game one win was like pretty dominant. And then, like, at least after, you know, that come because it was a comeback win, as always. Um, but then yeah. they just happened to win by a lot. And then it was kind of back and forth. So you can always be like, well, think back to game one, everyone, where we, you know, did this and that. Yeah. And yeah. And, and, and it's, it, back then, it should have just simply people like, all right, cool. We got the first part done. Like, hard part, like, you know, let's try to win two. And, and yeah, just, just take it one game at a time. But, uh, could say they might have been like yeah we were like that oh no <laughs> i tell but you know this is better luck to y'all next time um you know it, at least you get to say you have their experience now so you know we ain't gonna lose next time no we ain't gonna lose next time that's, yeah, it, you know, that's all you're gonna hear say that and what do they even maybe... work on too though man like, this, you know half the time people they come back they say oh we want to get home court so next time we can you know this that and the other thing like, mm-hmm, you know? and mm-hmm. it's like they can't even win at home so like <laughs> right exactly so like, um, what are they what are they going for like how do they not fuck it up in the paint again next year like like i guess that's like how do you get better at that kind of thing like I can't really see them just like coming back and then being like, "All right, now we're gonna take care of the ball." Yeah, um, I feel like like just they they go and stay have just a deeper bench, just just by a little bit. We have no ball movement. Like I thought, a lot of our possessions were just so sloppy. Just like dribble, 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 one pass, one pass, maybe drive, kick, and then it's like once you kick it out with five seconds we know what's going to happen next like there's not enough time to drive it again unless you have like the super athletic shot creator so the guy's just going to pull up you know bad look miss 90 percent of the time i feel like another thing too is i would like to see there's that like confident like you run down dribble 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 like people aren't even set yet it's just like and it's like those go in so much more frequently than the like 
uh, drive, kick back, four seconds left on the clock. Uh, uh, uh. Like that, right. I feel like is like, I want to see the five seconds into the shot clock stats, five seconds left on the shot clock stats, and then everything in between. Like I want those right. three breakdowns because those are three different layers of the play. And exactly. the percentage of shot once the clock is down is, you know, like if you got that, that's, I feel like when you're a great player, you can be nailing those. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I think I did notice that they, if, I think this series they did at time, maybe probably the, in the Warriors play zone. But, um, but yeah, it's just like, yeah, like if you don't got ball movement against the zone or even man to man, it's just like, yeah, you're gonna struggle. You're just gonna be stagnant. Everybody's gonna be looking like. So what are we doing? Like we were, we tried to run this play, but what's the backup plan? Like you know, like. Well, I don't get something. any of the plans because no one's moving. They're not doing the pick, and they're not passing. So like they just yeah. dribble and then they kind of hope. And it just didn't exactly. seem. It seemed like the offense was based around the athleticism of the individual player at the time, and yeah. it didn't seem like a lot of plays were. I don't know. I don't know shit about shit. That's why we named this show what we did. But didn't seem like a lot of Golden State's gonna be bringing like you know the sauce. Like where was it? We didn't have any mm-hmm. sauce. We had no sauce. <laughs> we came to Grandma's dinner with no sauce, bro. Right. Like we just brought like us. Like oh, we needed to bring something. I didn't know we needed to bring something. Exactly. Yeah, Golden State is like usually constantly moving, setting picks and off the ball and stuff like that. Like, even if it's like it's always trying to get to one person, like because sometimes they be like they just tunneling on one person, but at least they're like they're it's it's like something <laughs> where yeah on the Boston it was just like I got the ball, kind of maybe I have to move out the way sometimes or maybe set a pick, but then I I won't, still won't do nothing with it really. Like <laughs> we yeah. won't roll fast, we won't. Well, like, cause I used to do that too. Like, sometimes I would like you can even do the whole like I'm coming for a pick, but then slip, like, like clear out everybody to the right side, left side, and then just four four person game where ball handler, defender, my man, and and me coming up. I slipped the pick because I don't even set it, and so now the uh, one of the, somebody who's ever closest to the other side towards the basketball have to come and commit, and hopefully like, I get that and one, mm-hmm. you know, and. and it's just like none of that like mm-hmm. you don't always have to set the pick like you can slip it like you know it's just the basketball it's just like endless possibilities so yeah this and we like, were not really executing like that but you know it's just uh golden state played pretty well i mean we had really good defense too they just hit some crazy shots and it was kind of it's crazy in the scheme of basketball but it's just you know business as usual for them it seems like yeah because that's just what they know for like as fmh for it's just like they they kind of die live and die by <laughs> the crazy shots like the for real the the all of them like the top the, four like, like wiggins pool curry thompson like they were hitting yeah them. The, the high risk high reward shots you know kind of deal if you, yeah if they didn't like, have another one of those 70 point games like they did against memphis like i was hoping that they would because you never know right. like when you have when you shoot those kinds of shots like they were just on way more than on uh, we <laughs> could have than we needed them to be yeah so but yeah, yeah. it's all good it was a uh fun ish ride it was actually only fun up until the bucks part because it was just so frustrating watching like the whole miami series and then this series right. was like a little bit it was honestly like a little bit easier to watch in the miami series because it was just a little bit more um like we lost to what felt like a better team whereas in miami it was exactly. like why aren't we winning yet like exactly. we should have won <laughs> like it was, i thought it was obvious from game one like quarter one it was like oh we're so much bigger than miami like we can just ball like boss them around and then jimmy butler was like but not me and then that is why that was a series and then we just also messed up a bunch of like random end of game things like the horford exactly. like, I remember, like that horford one like that was that one and then the marcus smart like missed it off the free throws like a couple things that we yeah. could have, like 50 50s that we easily could have and then just choking at home so like that could have been five games or four so but the golden state losses just felt like losing to a better team every single time and us yeah yeah um maybe fumbling a little bit but you know things like that i think i gotta assume a good team is 
making them just look worse than they really are because they're playing so good defense it's not just us messing up yeah definitely it's like to give credit to to go and say like they did play some defense so it just wasn't all like turnovers just like because like kind of like how we say in the tennis world the unforced turnovers uh errors and then the force errors you know mm -hmm. so it was like if, if we had that in basketball right <laughs> um so yeah it does it's just like kind of like that so um yeah they, they just they they gonna hopefully watch the footage you know all of it learn from the mistakes and just be like this you know when we had this ball position this could have went different because that was one of our many turnovers we had here and we never really got a chance to um get a chance to score the ball you know even throw the ball at the <laughs> at the rim <laughs> towards the basket yeah. you know? so, um it's just like you those those what ifs like you know and, it's funny you know it's actually a great um way that you word that because it makes me in hockey they have the term slash stat shots on goal and like mm -hmm. i, I want to see here so like how many shots on goal did we get so we were 80 we had 80 how many did golden state have they had 92 shots on goal so they had 12 more opportunities to shoot the basketball at the hoop than we did that's that's what happens how many turnovers did they have oh 15 look at that yeah because i was like see y'all the they they so they got that got... seven more um seven less turnovers and then probably five more uh rebounds yeah, because I was just like, see, like at least they they met you in or the turnover steal or something. Oh, I guess that'd be a turnover. Um, yeah, that counts turnover. So I'm trying to just think if there's another way that you could get a your sh another shot off. Maybe um, if the the opponent blocks the shot, and then you get if you catch their block, that wouldn't count as a rebound, and it would count as a missed shot, and it doesn't count as a turnover. Mm -mm, they they might they might do the rebound part because all of these stats to a degree is um is the word subjective i think mm -hmm. um so especially assists like people like you can pass it to me but then uh i score like five seconds later and then some people will be like that's an assist mm. <laughs> you know so it's just kind of like true yeah what is the timing um, threshold on the assist how many frames do you get exactly. for it to be an assist should um, we should we buffer nerf assists? How much RP do you exactly. get for assists? <laughs> exactly. Which that, those are, those changes are happening in a few days. That's funny. <laughs> so I'm excited for that because um, I'm gonna go. Ham I would holiday. say that if if there is a pass, it counts. I don't care how long they took. Like I mean, yeah, it can take the whole clock. That's fine. I don't care. Like if you passed it once. That's the, it's an assist. Like it's just you passed it, they scored off of your pass. To me, that is an assist. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not picking. Like, 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 I think I, in I think... hockey or soccer or something like a quick, quick bang, bang play. Like it, it's got to be a little bit quicker because those sports go so long without anyone doing anything. That there's so many passes yeah. and this and that. I was thinking. I was like, yeah. I think. I think. Which makes sense that the way it should be this way. I think it, it always gets nullified once. So say like you pass it to me and then I dribble, dribble, but then I pass it to somebody else, but then they pass it back to me. So it's like now you don't get this. Right, right. It's only like, one. It's only one. Yeah, yeah. It's just like now you're not involved in the picture no more. Now right. you, now you can say this is the um, how they say what is it for the hockey? Uh, I used to know it, but I forget. Um, we'll we'll try to figure it out at a later date in time. Yeah, I like I yeah, I'll, I'll definitely remember again cuz it's like on the tip of my tongue, girl, and I hear it all the time. Like, <laughs> Write oh it down in God. a notebook next time you hear it and let me know. We'll talk about it. Yeah, exactly. I oh, was going to kill me. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> so, uh yeah, that's uh that's the end seeing basketball for now. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Um, the yeah, the season doesn't start back up again until like around Halloween. I remember like halfway through October, you know, late October usually. So we'll be getting back to NFL before that. That's really only like two months now at this point, basically, right? June yeah. to July, June, July right? to August. Yeah. Yep. yep two months yep. till preseason. I, um, I've been trying to put myself in July this whole time. I'm like, July cannot get yeah. fast enough. It's <laughs> funny. I um, I mean. We always touch on some random NFL things. I'm not sure if you heard, and this is shocker, shocker, but apparently the NFL wants to suspend uh, Deshaun Watson 
for like more allegations and more like lawsuit stuff. Oh my god! Like no. post trade. So, and it's like uh, I remember I, I would have to, you know, have a little bit better of a um kind of categorization of what we talk about. But I know that we discussed at a certain point, like, why are you trading for this guy? Like, you already have a Deshaun wait. Watson on your team, and yeah. you're trading for one that has, like, controversy and issues and this and exactly. that. So, exactly. And it's it's coming back to bite them just like it would for Cleveland. Like, it's such a Cleveland thing. It's almost like if they didn't trade for him, he would have been fine. But by trading for him, his fate is now sealed to be a Cleveland athlete. Like, I just admit, like, that stank that you have on you, unless you're LeBron James. The stank of being a Cleveland athlete is just... Exactly. I mean, I never played in the big leagues, but I also never played in Cleveland. (laughs) So, (laughs) I feel like I'm winning in that department. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, um... Like, I'm, like, like, like the Johnny Depp and Amber Case, I'm just like, I'm just like, I can't keep up. Every, it seems like every time I look at Yahoo sending me something, I'm just Mm -hmm. like... Or will let me know, cause I I, I really don't care. Like I, I just want the best for the right people. Like everybody do the right things in those situations, justice to be served. That's that's it. Like it's just like that's, whenever that's really it affects good. rosters, that's when it piques my interest. But typically, if it's just you know fan gossip, then I will omit myself from the situation. Right. Yeah, you know, it's just like I just need to know the gist and just be like, oh, okay, that's the cases, accusations, all that kind of, okay, cool, like, right. you know, best to look, uh, see you at the end. Right, <laughs> that's right, kind of right. Like, like, I'm not finna be dedicating my time to be like, what's, 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 uh, what's the latest news, you know? <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. So, um, we'll, uh, we'll touch on random things here and there when we do, we'll, uh, get into some NBA, or I'm sorry, WNBA picks. Yeah, because I was to, uh, WNBA. NBA. It's, it's NBA. It's NBA Plus. Um, All right. So, like, when's the... I'm looking up the schedule real quick, because I was on our normal website, and I didn't find a WNBA section. So, that was uh, a little bit, you know, whatever. But let's just see. Yeah, I believe Yahoo would provide the odds anyway. Um... Yeah. Oh, you wait. Oh, you saying the the website we use? You wasn't seeing. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. okay. I was not finding a, like just a section. You know, like they just didn't have yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And I'm looking right now. Like, what's today's day? The 18th. You know, there's 19th. They're mm-hmm. playing on. Wait, what's today? Oh, it's technically Saturday. Yeah, they... Okay. 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 Te- yeah. sorry, technically it's Saturday. So the 19th. Okay. <laughs> oh man, time flies. 18th. Right, right, but I'm just saying, like, because it yeah. says the 19th, the 19th is going to be right. the next day for some of these uh, WNBA games. And I, I'm on Yahoo, and there's no like odds. And I know people are betting this. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna type in. Okay. WNBA betting lines. Let's oh. see what we get. That's hilarious. I was like, why am I not? <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. Um, no odds available. Okay, why not? So you can no. Pick? No, that's. Matter of fact, let's see. Let's go click on an old game. Cause like, why would you have an odds tab on the Yahoo? Talking about check out odds from. Oh yeah, yeah check out odds from all games. This. Is Cause we did the one game. Remember, we did the um. The. When we played the the Sparks versus the Sun, mm-hmm. we did like mm-hmm. our, our practice game. So like we we had odds at one point. So I know that they have yeah, them okay. typically available. Hmm. Anyone watching who knows how to get <laughs> WNBA odds at a very uh, easy, you know, way? Let, let us know. All right. Um, I'm trying to do the same as you, like try and look for some older mm-hmm. picks, but they usually like. Kind of like I don't want to say yeah they good. yeah they like they have played like in the summary is is just showing oh. the stats like above that usually is the right. folks the, we're gonna like, find something to bet on don't you worry crazy. um crazy. okay hold on hold on hold on sportsdata.usatoday.com slash basketball slash wmba slash summary slash one zero four eight five seven two 
I uh, had the uh, Mercury was a one and a half point underdog and the over under was 170 and a half. So there was odds from, uh, looks like tonight there was a game or whatever. Well, I guess we are both technically now in uh, Saturday, but yesterday, Friday the 17th, there was a game and I'm looking at odds for that game. So there are odds out there. Apparently they're just harder to find. Right. Um, so let me try and use this site to see if I can find tomorrow's odds. Yeah, because I was looking at <coughs> discoveries.com, please, but I think um, they're only getting the odds based off like DraftKings and stuff like that. Odds like, not I available know. on this site either. That's so weird. Like, So they're not available for tomorrow, but they have the ones from yesterday. So maybe at some point they will update them. But that would be pretty much impossible for us to actually work with in terms of recording picks and this and that. So we'll have to keep an eye out for it and see what the heck is going on. Yeah, which list are you looking at? Um, I just typed in WNBA betting lines and it was latest uh, WNBA odds, sports data, USA Today. I can link you, but it's, like I said, not showing any of the... Okay. It's and not showing was, anything for no. today. It's just showing what we had. Uh, uh, odd shark or something like that. Mm-hmm. And some of these that I'm <clears throat> clicking on that seem like they keep showing me, like, not the actual numbers, but, like, places you can go bet. <laughs> and it's just like, why is that? <laughs> right. We'll get we'll get it all sorted up, and if yeah. not, we will um, you know we can just cover it to some degree or pick yeah. the game or this or that. I don't know. Figure something out. A little bit of a wrap up, I guess, to the season. I mean, we have now uh, completed two full seasons of sports. So that's pretty cool. We've done yeah. two full, yeah. uh, you know, I would say two full practice runs in their own right yeah. of seasonal betting. We are one and one. We are. Effectively, like one and one, and then one and one in our little like side things because um, you were correct in the Golden State and six, but I did, I if I recall, beat you pretty decently in the NFL uh, Super Bowl props, so I consider those to be yeah. about even. <laughs> yes, yes. So you know, we're we're pretty uh, we're pretty tied up. So this uh, NFL season will be a very nice uh, pivotal game three yes, to uh, figure out who game. can get the uh, the lead yeah. and some capacity yes, but, so we'll be uh, to see you guys still there and, and joining us in our first NFL odds coverage in full season we, yes for the full season <clears throat> get all the breakdown and all that good stuff so that should be good sometimes like um, they talk to co-workers we might do a uh, um, fantasy draft so mm-hmm. I've done one of those in a cool minute. That's way too um, much for me to keep up on, man. Like, I've never had the ambition to do... One, but I, I understand the value of how, like, it'll help you keep up with every person and all the differences mm-hmm, and that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's just another yeah, layer. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, because uh, some of these people, they, be like, they might just not even be here. They might not make it for the next two months. <laughs> right, no, right, that right, might drop right. as a high turnover, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, not crossing my fingers and that I won't, I won't. I, I'm glad to have this at least. So. Yep, yep, yep. It's some way to keep it, keep it rolling, keep it going. Um, when was the NFL starting their preseason again? Do we say the September ninth, eighth, ninth, eighth? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, the, that makes the previous, makes uh, the previous. For the preseason, the uh, the be- okay, the eleventh of August. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and what's yeah, today? Yeah, Today's yeah, the yeah. Uh, it's past the eleventh, so we have less than two months until we get to see rosters on the field. Yep. I guess I, honestly, I'm gonna get back to now doing what I mentioned that I was gonna do a while ago. Is and I started up again too. Is just gonna go back and watch a lot of the uh, old 2021 season games and just uh get a feel for it again so that way when it comes back it just feels right like fresh and new because whenever you have that just you have the sounds going you have the crowd you have the announcers voices you have the players and the logos on the screen it just feels right so i'm gonna hop back into that when i'm looking for something to watch all right yeah i'm excited to see 
all these teams go at it again. And and <clears throat> so uh, yeah. all right, um, side bet number one. Who's gonna win the Super Bowl this year? Slash next year, but you know what I mean. LA Rams. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So uh, my first so I, now I gotta ask myself: Are the Patriots ready to win it? Um, the answer is yes. New England Patriots. So uh, I feel like that's got to be locked in. You know, right, if one right. of those two teams wins it, then the other other person has officially lost. But if not, then call it a wash. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cross my fingers. He's like back, back up, Green Bay. But we're gonna see how how tough it's looking for Aaron. Which it won't be too tough, but um, so it won't be, won't be as easy. <laughs> Does San Francisco? They haven't traded Jimmy yet, have they? They still have him on I their roster <laughs> through like all it. of training camp. <laughs> it seems like an awfully long like time into the it. season now. Even though this hasn't begun yet, you know we all know how NFL works. Like the season has begun. Yeah. Once you get people like us starting to think about football um, get oh. ready for it you know under a couple months you know oh, that they're good. working hard at the facility so things are happening you would want the new quarterback in well before now yes definitely that um, I've been seeing plenty of YouTube videos ever since I subscribed to the LA Rams YouTube for sure. like they've been doing videos on the rookies and just like like off like not NFL stuff, like kind of like specific stuff in it, like NFL. So, like, yeah, like people should be in training camp and all that kind of stuff, like getting ready. And if not, then I guess you're just that good, right? You just, you know, right. <laughs> it'll do work out. You're like, you're, you're pulling the shack, like, where Kobe's just like, get in here, man. And Shaq is like, nah, son. <laughs> like, I all right, I got a, uh, a second one. Who's gonna, who will the LA Rams have to go through in the, uh, you know, championship game to get in the Super Bowl. Maybe Kansas. Maybe Brady. Kansas is mm. not in your um, division. Actually, slash yeah. conference. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I'm trying to think who else didn't make it. Maybe. Maybe. Can I say Baltimore? No. Learn your league. <laughs> <laughs> um, All the good teams are in the, are in the AFC. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Uh, see, this is weird. I I still have to learn on who's you can on stick which with side. Brady. Right. Yeah. I'm like right because I was like, am I tripping? I was like, I can stay stick with Brady, right? But uh, you know, basically, what I'm trying to get it is like you know those those good teams that even if they didn't make it to the playoffs, but for the ones that did make it and just like because there were some some. I don't think there's any good teams left in the NFC. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly. Like, of course you'll have everyone from the NFC East saying their team. So, right, there's right. that. Dallas Cowboys. Because, yeah, um, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Seattle sucks now. Um, the, what you call, um, I was going to say, Niners are, like, falling off. Like, I feel like the Niners were kind of, like, the uh, Miami of last year's run like they, they were the red team that like got far but it was just kind of injured and beat up and just couldn't quite make it the whole way and so they bit the dust and i don't know cardinals eh, i guess you know when kyler's popping it's good but he seems kind of disgruntled that doesn't seem like the team is flowing this and that so i don't know i mean <laughs> not a heck of a lot you got an aging matt ryan in atlanta and um oh wait did, oh my god he did like, get traded you're right wait did he get traded? Like, yeah, yeah he did yeah, get traded. Like, wait, so, so then you got no one in atlanta i don't know who they yep. got in atlanta but he got no one yeah yep. no one um where, where is he now that's that's but i was trying to remember i was like that's been such so long ago i'm like where are yeah. you at indianapolis hmm. yes okay cool yep Combined in mass that they're being traded to Colts. So, <laughs> so another, uh, you know, AFC team. Like literally, all the decent teams are in the AFC. You know, you got Titans, right? Yep, Titans. Yes. Baltimore, um, Bills, KC. Now, 
uh, Russell Wilson in Denver, Derek right. Carr <laughs> in the Las Vegas. In Vegas. Uh, so Justin Herbert. Herbert, yeah, which is so funny because it's, it's hard to keep because I f- keep forgetting that we have to jump back to the league that doesn't do East and West. They just do like mixed conferences because like Chargers seem like such a NFC team, like with the location and this and that. But right, exactly. Um, but they so, have they have to put them right. So well, they were like at least you put them West, but just on AFC side. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so there's really not a, Cincinnati. The defending, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Idea, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of nothing in the NFC right now, and a whole lot of yeah. Because I was gonna say, awesome wait a minute, I was like, so I was like, because you, you asked me right, who's gonna you you were you basically asking me who's gonna stop my Rams in the AF from the AFC? No, I was saying general? who's gonna who are you guys gonna play in the championship game to oh, get okay, into the say. Super oh. Bowl? Oh, so then yeah, then my my bad. Then, oh, easily my Green Bay. <laughs> I would say um, maybe Dallas and uh, on the other thing, yeah, like you say, yeah, Brady. Uh, maybe maybe um, Murray. Are you smarter than fifth grader? <laughs> maybe he can he can get his act together. No um, and then I mean same thing with Jimmy. <laughs> Will the Vikings uh, ever be good? Yeah. Uh, who, who is? I who feel like they're is? one of those teams that always gets like to the second round of the playoffs and then just loses. Oh yeah, Kirk Cousins now. So mm, yeah, but who? But I'm just saying, like, could they make a move for like a better player? Could they do this? Could they do that? Are they one of those teams yeah. that ever, you know? I don't know. Tries to step it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, and doesn't uh, actually doesn't Chicago have that young kid running around? What's his name? The quarterback. Um, because I want to say his name is Justin. Right? If I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna say Justin Herbert, but I was like the other Justin yes, Fields. Uh, yes, I believe Fields. That sounds about right. Let's uh, can I click on Chicago from here? Yeah. Roster. Justin Fields. Six three two twenty eight. Oh, okay. You say six three two two eight. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, why does this website not want to load up the the last team? <laughs> It was showing only like 11 AFC teams. I'm like, where's the 12? <laughs> I'm trying to see if I've heard of any of these running backs. For Chicago? Yeah. It's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David Montgomery? I feel like we talked a little. Uh, let's see his numbers. Yards at 65 yards a game. That seems pretty decent, right? Kind of. I guess. Not really. Sure. I don't know. All right, yeah. We'll, we'll get back to Wide that. Wide receivers. No. Well, they got one, one decent player. But see, that's the thing. Like, thing you watch, it's like, oh, this guy's good. This guy's good. This guy's good. Yeah, um... Is that, is that my St. Brown? No, that's not my St. Brown. No, that is my St. Brown. But I think it's been a minute since you... Oh, no, you were. He was on our team. Okay, never mind. (laughs) Well, we're just reaching Um, right now, trying to find something. So I guess we might as well... uh, Finishing thoughts, wrapping up this uh, NBA season into this NFL preseason. Yeah. um, You know, like, like we just said, look forward to this. It's gonna be exciting, good times. A little twist, you know. Now would be the odds included with our picks. Yep. Over Andy, so we'll see who will win this one and who, as he said, get that game three pivotal win. <laughs> I'm, I'm very confident. I'm very confident. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> Just way more confident than this NBA. It was like. It was, I feel like I had a better grasp on the NFL for sure than it is as as I won that one. So <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if it was luck or not, but I feel like it was probably half luck, half not. Cause no, I can give it that. I can give it that. It's uh, it, it's all up in the air right now. But we we will see definitively potentially. Although to be fair, yeah. I did win the NBA by a bigger margin than you won the NFL. So no, yeah. yeah. Just and just, to, just to throw it in there. Right, right, right. I, I, um, I do find it shocking though. Like, had you asked me, asked me like 
even just five years ago, uh, for sure, Tim, like, oh, would you do better in the NFL or NBA? I'd be like, oh, the NBA definitely, because like, <laughs> I know it. I don't, I don't keep it in for like that, but it's like, Brad, like, I mean, and it makes sense kind of because like I, I am been coming into the NFL more. And as we mm-hmm. have expressed at the beginning of this season for NBA, where it's like we mentioned a couple old names and we're like, who are these new players? Like, right. I, I've been the last on five NBA. years has been kind of a blur to me. Yeah, like for sure. Last two years for me, like, like, like keeping up with everybody, like, nah, right. not happening. So it's the NFL a little bit more better. Yes, so. sir. That's uh, that, but uh, if you guys have made it this far and you ain't hit that like button, please do. <laughs> we much really, it. really like this, what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, it's going to be a bell. You can turn that on. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, appreciate so. it. All appreciate it. And if, 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 if you do even one of those and do none of those, sharing it, also appreciate it. You know, is, is like the gosh I thought they terms when they come to me I was like something assist <laughs> <laughs> right 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 give us that hockey assist uh, the hockey assist man. so it, it, comment down below that <laughs> right <laughs> get that term please it's just driving, driving me crazy but um, if you haven't already uh, look down in the description join the discord Get ready for this NFL season. Mm-hmm. Participate with any kind of um, events we're gonna have going with that little little side things going on with that, and um, yeah, all that you know. All right, my man. Until uh, until next time, I think uh, next week I'll probably be good to go. But I am moving, like I said, so I might have to take a week off at some point when I do that. So we'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, just just. Keep your eyes out for the ones who are yeah yeah for the ones who are subscribed for sure have that belt on turn on so yeah. <laughs> you just know when it whenever this the next video comes out since we are like the, at the end of this NBA we we take a little break a little yeah break. it's actually not the first time for like a like a week off given the whole um yeah you know, we've been we've been hard at it man yeah yeah you know plus we, when you have we have a special number like thirty four coming up you gotta. You know, like one of some of the greats, some of if not the greatest players of all time to wear that number thirty four. Yes, sir. So, all right, man. We'll uh catch you on the next one. Yeah, this is guys. <laughs>